All right, guys, Richard Harvey. This watch popped up in my social media feed, Instagram or something like that. And I scrolled past it maybe the first time, still thought, that's a cool looking watch. Then I saw it again and I was like, all right, I got to reach out to this guy. So I, I did a little bit of research and I became obsessed. Okay, it's fine. We have obsessive behavior in this watch hobby. Most of us do. I became obsessed with this watch and I knew I was going to get one on the show at some point. I reached out to the owner just through their standard website um, and Matthew, the owner, reached out back to me and was like, yeah, I'm aware of your channel. Um, 100% I'm going to get a watch over to you so you can check it out and share it. And thankfully, everything came together because Matthew created a very cool watch. Uh, again, that's going to be subjective. I'm sure there's going to be people out there that don't appreciate the design. I love it. I absolutely love it. So uh, what he did is in 2020, you know, with all the chaos going on, uh, he was in the medical field. That's what his day job was. And he was uh, sensing some uncertainty. So he took on a project. Well, it led, fast forward to 2023, it led to this, the brand, Richard Harvey. That's the names of his two grandfathers, Richard and Harvey. And then, so he just combined them. Boom, that's the brand name. Pays homage to them. And they're both uh, patriots, as is Matthew, but his grandfather's actually served in the military. So uh, it all kind of ties together. Well, let's talk about the case size, because I've already rambled long enough about my, my desire to see this watch and have that desire satisfied once I got it in hand. So we are looking at a 42.4 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. The thickness is only 11.8, pretty dang thin. Flat sapphire crystal up top with anti-reflective coating. 20 millimeter lug width and a seven millimeter screw down crown. Kind of protected in here in this cage. You can kind of see it almost has like a propeller look to this thing. This doesn't move. This is definitely in your way for the crown. So operating the crown, there's no way around this, is not easy. But it's worth it because I love wearing this watch. Uh, inside the watch, another really cool thing, once I discovered what movement was in here, I don't know why, but I'm a huge fan of the Ronda R150 movement. I think it's been out since 2016. Ronda, as a company, has done mechanical movements in the past. But in 2016, they came out with the R150. And although in similar size to the ETA 2824, it's a different structure. So it's not a clone or anything like that. It's definitely their own movement. And it has 25 joules, beats at 4 hertz, or 28,800 vibrations per hour. Um, I know I'm going off on a little side tangent here with the uh, movement, but I think I'm gravitating towards the Ronda R150 because you don't see it used very often, and it's a great, great movement. I'm not sure the accessibility to it, but I'm, I'm assuming it's fairly affordable. Ronda traditionally offers affordable quartz movement. That's kind of their uh, claim to fame, uh, but I would like to see more watches with the R150 in it. That's just a personal preference of mine. It is a Swiss-made movement as well. So um, to run this guy, you unscrew the crown, right? You can still get at it because it's a little over seven millimeter. You just, to, and it pops, nice pop to it. You can wind it in this position. All of this stuff is pretty easy to do. Where it becomes tricky is screwing the crown back in. So even like adjusting it, one click out, you're gonna be able to do your date. Last position hacks the movement. So you can adjust the time. We'll go ahead and just set it to uh, 10, 10, you know, that's kind of cliche, but. Now to screw it in is where the challenge comes because I always like to backspin and feel it drop into the thread pitch. So, and then, I mean, I made it look easy, but I've manipulated this a few times. The first couple times you do it, you're going to be like, wow, this is a pain, but it, it becomes like part of a technique and you'll get it down. It's not a big deal. Uh, retail price on this, $6.99. There's two different colorways. This one, my preference because of the bold colors. This one's called the Patriot. Um, and the watch model is called the attitude. Now let's talk about that. Attitude can mean a lot of different things. One, your attitude, my attitude, everybody's attitude, right? Sometimes we need an attitude adjustment. No, I'm just kidding. But sometimes we need to check our attitude, right? Well, pilots check their attitude via an uh, attitude instrument. And that's what this dial looks like. So 
I don't know if I'll be able to drop in a picture or anything, but this thing right here, this is kind of showing the plane uh, in its wings, right? That's kind of what it's simulating. So it's basically a gyrometer, essentially, is what the attitude uh, instrument is. Uh, but these are in pretty much every air aircraft, as far as I know. Um, so when, you know, the, the plane pitches forward or back or um, goes side to side, like in its, uh, I, I forget what that motion is called, but it'll show the wing tips, you know, and it'll show its orientation to the horizon. So they always know because oftentimes pilots cannot see. They're not flying with sight. They have to use their instruments, and this is one of the key instruments. So that's what the dial design is. Very cool. Um, if we take a closer look at here, it's kind of a sandwich dial, but not in the traditional sense. You can see there's actually like a plate that is screwed down with these three screws. I'm assuming the screws are real. Maybe they're not. Um, and they hold the plate down to the main dial, and that gives it kind of like a sandwich dial, but also with printed indices on top and then sandwiched down below and the cutouts for the triangle, the cardinal markers, the triangle, the three, six, and nine. So I love the depth of the dial, the handset, an oversized sword skeletonized handset. Yeah, awesome. Uh, red tipped seconds hand reaches all the way out and just barely kisses the, the red on the uh, tens or uh, fives actually, excuse me. So that all ties together. There's another colorway I mentioned. It's called the blackout. It's mostly just different shades of black or black and gray, whatever you want to call it. Very cool looking watch as well. They're both stainless steel. And then this one, I'm not sure if the other one, the other one might be DLC. I'm not 100% sure. But this one, you can see it's finishing on here. It's very satinish or blasted. And uh, it is what they call titanium carbide coated. It's a just a particular color or style of a uh, PVD coating. So it should be pretty durable and it looks like titanium, but it is stainless steel. Here's a look at the case back. They are serial numbered. So you'll be able to keep track of that. This is number 29. So awesome. And it is the Attitude Patriot. So he does have individual case backs for the uh, Patriot or the Blackout. Does come with an extra strap, has a nice little display box, and it does come with an extra strap. This one obviously comes with a red, white, and blue strap, being that it's called the Patriot. And because it comes with an extra strap, he even says this in his uh, definition. He's like, well, if I'm going to give you an extra strap, you kind of need the tool to change it. So it has a nice spring bar tool uh, with a pin pusher here and then a fork. So easy to use. Let's pop this on wrist on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what it looks like. I don't know if I mentioned the retail price, $6.99. For a unique, none of these parts are off the shelf. So you got to think about it. He designed this thing, had it built. None of these parts are off the shelf. This is all one-off design parts designed by him. Has a Swiss Ronda R150 movement in it. Unique design that resonates with me at least. I love it. Some might, like I said, there's a watch for everybody. I think it works great on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It flirts with being a wild card watch, but I don't think I would fully classify it as a wild card. I think it's more than a wild card. It's it's a definite like regular watch that has a wild side to it, but it's not a wild card. The loom is also awesome. Let's give it a quick blast, kill the lights, and check this beast out. I, I still can't believe these are $6.99. And that, that might sound weird to some people, but, but I understand a little bit more than just like picking a case and picking hands and stuff like that. You can keep the price down on things. But as soon as you start designing and then adding extra features and extra components and a Swiss movement, $6.99 is pretty respectable in this day and age. Awesome loom too. Absolutely love the loom. So thanks for watching, guys. Big thanks to Matthew for sending this over. Check them out if you're looking for something like this in your collection. 100% I can uh, support this watch. 100%. This thing is awesome. Thanks for watching.